Live streaming on your gaming PC can be really expensive, but today we're gonna show you a way that it doesn't have to be. For 422 bucks, we have an easy live streaming PC build guide for you guys featuring the Lenovo P520 and RTX 2070. And I think you guys could be very surprised how what live streams for the money, but first we gotta pay some bills after we're from today's sponsor. You thought we wouldn't catch you playing games with an unactivated Windows license. Well, the fun's over, buddy. If only you would have listened to us when we tried to tell you. With one visit to GVG Mall, you could have prevented all this. Using our discount code TB20 on a Windows license, or bought one with the money you saved from purchasing on their website. We wouldn't have had to end like this, but you didn't. <laughs> but you didn't want great deals, or to help us thank our sponsor. So this is where it ends. Don't worry, we left your computer in there. But it only has Microsoft Office that we purchased with a discount code from GVG Mall. Have fun behind bars. If you guys watch the Tozy Bros, you know we love the Lenovo P520. This one in particular we got from PC Server Parts with a W2133 6 core 12 threaded processor, dual channel 60 gigs of DDR4 memory, and no storage because we're gonna add storage ourselves. And you can get these things for really awesome prices. All together with the graphics card, we spent $422. And we're gonna show you guys step by step how you can add your GPU, add your SSD, put in the P520, get Windows installed, and you'll be off to live streaming and gaming for not much money. All right, so let's go ahead and open this PC up, which uh, should be very easy. So first things first, we just do that. And uh, you guys know that we love the P520s for many reasons, but one of them is they're just meant to upgrade. Uh, with these being basically older workstations, uh, they were really designed to be able to take all kinds of parts. They have things that are fully modular, like their power supplies, which is pretty cool. This one's an 80 plus platinum, 900 watts. So that is a lot of room for upgrades. Yeah, we've thrown as high as a RTX 4070 in these and have had really good 1440p gaming performance. But really, I think the RTX 2070 we'll talk about here in a second is gonna be the best streaming option. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our King Spec one terabyte NVMe SSD. That's another really cool part about these workstations. They actually have NVMe slots. We did pay $48 for this, by the way. One terabyte Gen 3 drives, very affordable. And I think in this build, especially if you're gonna be streaming, you wanna save some files or things like that, one terabyte is definitely the minimum I would recommend. Yeah, definitely go Gen 3, just so you're not wasting Gen for money. So uh, your NVMe is actually go underneath this little guy here, uh, which can be a little bit finicky sometimes, but it just comes off like that. You can see we actually have some thermal pad here. This one's, this one's a little a little dirty looking, but that's okay. So, uh, oh, we actually got a broken slot. Uh-oh, do we? Yeah, but luckily there's two of them. Yeah, look, look at this. Oh. I don't know what happened there, but uh, we use the top one instead. <laughs> yeah, that's something to mention. Again, all these are from PC server parts and they all come with a warranty. So if you happen to get one like that, that's a little bit of an issue. You can get your money back and or send in for RMA and stuff like that. So definitely use our link down below and discount code to buy them directly from PC server parts to get good customer support. All right, John, I gotta come in a little bit. There we go. There it is. There we go. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just reverse order. So we'll get these lined up underneath here. See, actually it does put some pressure on this. That might've been how it broke before. If you really got to push down on this. Look I did it. That. Well, that was that. You see, a lot of times we go back and forth of using two and a half inch in the NVMe. So I'm not super used to that. So yeah, for the GPU, again, RTX 2070 with the non-super because you can find these things for like 159 bucks. Come with that NVMe encoder and we'll pair very nicely with the Xeon in this system to be able to do live streaming. And it's all the GPU is super simple. Ours already has the uh, covers removed because well, we've actually done this once already. Mm -hmm. Just don't worry about that. What you're gonna go ahead and do is pull up this lever right here, which gives you access to the slot. We're gonna use this topmost slot right here because it's the PCIe by 16 slot to get the full Gen 3 support. We're gonna take our graphics card. We're gonna line it up like so. Weapon card, we're gonna line it up. Sometimes if your graphics card is a little bit used, you might have some issues getting it to slot in perfectly the first time. We're going to push down. You can see here a slight click. It's not super loud. And then your graphics card is, well, they're not secure yet. You're gonna go ahead and line this up. Make sure it's over these little pins that uh, hold in the graphics card. Push down. And boom, just like that, you were locked in and ready to go. And the beauty of the P520, you know, all we love these versus like an OptiFlex or an older office PC, is it does come with a bunch of PCI power ready to go. These right here are two eight pins. All we're really gonna need is an eight and a six pin. So we'll go ahead and take this one, plug it up like so. And then we'll go ahead and put this one on. And same deal, plug it up like so. And boom, just like that, we have power, we have storage, we have our RAM, we have everything ready to go. We just have to get Windows installed, which these are Windows 11 supported, by the way, for those who worried about that at home. <laughs> and we'll be ready to live stream. So in this video is gonna be a little bit different. We'll get everything installed and we're gonna go straight into live stream testing with this graphics card and show you guys what a live stream would look like and um, also show you some benchmark numbers along the way. But that was really easy, wasn't it? Let's get to testing. Time to play some Apex Legends to all of the people watching my live stream. One of the largest 
most gigantic live streams available. All right, what settings are we running up in here? 1080p, a healthy mix. A healthy mix of settings, I will say. All right. Well, we're getting 120 FPS on our $420 gaming PC. It's pretty crazy. Why did I just spend so much money on my PC at home? I could have just had this one. You're telling me I spent $2,000 on my PC and I didn't need to do that? Oh, bruh. I was like I'm doing my Sunday stream all over again. This is exactly how it went too. Oh, I got a kill finally, but he killed me. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> we're kind of we're kind of cooking a little bit now here. Oh, where did you go? Where did you come from? I can still see you, Mister. Oh, you son of a guns. Ooh. Yeah, you think this guy's streaming uh, right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I suck more. I suck more. No, he's gonna reload before me. All right, Apex Legends. That was that was very impressive. Um, what what game do we have next in the roster? Fortnite. Fortnite. Not a sponsor, by the way, but shout out uh, Obsbot with their little little baby camera. Hashtag not a sponsor. We're just we're just doing it because we're doing it. Let's let's just look in the shop while we're here, shall we? Because this is what streamers do, anyways, right? They just shop for booga. What do we got in here? All right, we got um these characters okay oh oh, oh 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 nice 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 oh ice spice let's go ice spice ah oh, snoop i don't have v bucks for snoop though uh i have, I have some right now you know. oh, let's get 13 <laughs> 13k worth of v bucks yeah let's go all right guys we're in fortnite uh dx12 unlimited frame rate 1080p the usual far view distance low textures nothing too crazy going on really this is going to be a test for that cpu because we're uh, rocking a xeon here um, not gonna have the best single core performance, but these Eons are better than other ones. As you can see right here, the encoding overload is actually hitting pretty hard. So we'll wait till we land. I think that should settle it out a bit, but we'll see. But as we can see, our CPU is at 100% usage. So once we land, see now it's settling down a bit. Once we land, it should eliminate most of the stutter, but we'll see. This is one of those games on this PC, you're definitely wanting to cap the FPS running a single PC setup. Going unlimited is probably putting unnecessary strain on this. Should cause more problems. And the FPS is much higher. So, you know, the, the, the initial load in stuff. Oh. Cause they have a shotgun. Mmm, charge shotgun. Oh God, someone's pushing. Oh, ho, ho. free cookies. Obviously, you know, higher end games might be a little bit of a struggle. We will run our built in benchmarks at the end to show you guys what the uh, worst case scenario is of this PC with Blackman Hukong and our 3D Mark benchmark. But, um, yeah, I mean, in terms of playing esports games, which is what a lot of people stream, by the way, multiplayer esports games, not too bad. Is that a grenade launcher too? That's crazy. Oh. I hear sliding noises. Gunshots, gunshots. Wait. That's great say. Oh! What the heck is that? That's something. That's a demon on wheels, apparently. Um, anywho, hey, I think Fortnite definitely more than playable. Ooh, look at the Ice Spice's rifle. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, this look pretty pretty good. Um, yeah, it's running good. I get these crazy guns and then I'm just gonna DC. That's gonna really troll somebody. We're gonna go download Black Ops 6. Let's give it a go, because so far it's it's running really well for only $422. We love the P520. We've always recommended streaming, but we never actually tested it. So looking pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll see how long it's gonna take. I'll, I'll stay with you guys for a bit. All right, here we go. Here goes Warzone on a $420. We wouldn't even normally recommend someone even get playing Warzone on a PC this cheap, let alone stream it. You know what's crazy? I, I used to do better on Resurgence duos, like a, a, as a, as a one-man team than I do just 1v1s. Get my finger on the trigger. E. Nope. F. Yep. Yep. I almost killed him, actually. I would say the game's pretty playable, honestly. It's better. Look, hatchet. Oh. How does it? How does anybody like this? I I don't I don't get it. Please, Please. my baby's first kill, and there's that guy's gonna kill me, and the other guy's gonna self revive. Oh. God, that guy was so fast and sweaty. Jesus 
Christ. Ooh! Oh my god, the end of the clip. Oh my god, he knew where he was going. Oh my god. Whew. All right, well, that was that was Warzone. I mean, honestly, I think it was better than we thought it would be, right? Yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, not bad. And that was the end of our streaming test. Let's uh, wrap this video up real quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got done doing some live streaming over on our bots account. And as you guys can see, every game that we threw at it ran really well. Now, this isn't like one of those PCs where you should expect it to perform like a thousand dollar plus PC, but honestly, I can't believe for 420 bucks it even streamed at all. Yeah, playing Black Ops 6 and Warzone more specifically was definitely the most demanding test for this, uh, but all the other games, eSports titles, will stream perfectly fine on this configuration, and some other games we tested are Black Myth Wukong at 1080p medium settings. We start to see some of the limitations in higher end games here. We'll get an average of 49 FPS, a max of 58, and a minimum of 11. Turn on FSR, you'll get a lock 60, no problems whatsoever. And lastly, we ran our 3D Mark Time Spy score and ended up with a score of 7,854 which is a five cent per point score. The P520, man, the best in terms of price performance. And after this video, we can comfortably say the best in terms of entry level streaming. If you're looking to get into live streaming, you could follow this guide at home. Use the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Be sure to use our discount code for PC server parts, by the way, to save money on your P520 build and uh, let us know in the comments down below if you plan on building one. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. So now if you guys want to get into some entry level live streaming, you should buy this PC from PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech, we sell budget gaming PCs or high end PCs. Whatever you're looking to do, whether it's gaming or streaming, we got you covered. Use code TOSIBROS on checkout, you'll save 3% your next purchase. Also stay tuned for our December sale guys. See you guys later, goodbye.